How you doing everybody? Welcome to the channel. Exciting times for Hudson. We've got the latest firmware all updated again. 1.1.52 this time. Done all the horizontal calibration, the gimbal calibration, all in house before it came out. Everything says it's successful. We'll see. I'm gonna take it up, record the video. We will try out the new speed settings. The yaw settings is my main one because it's far too quick if you want to do anything. We'll try slowing it down, speeding it up, see what it's like. The coming in the precision landing, we'll try it, but I'm not really interested in it. So yes, I usually fly back and land it anyway, return to home. Not too fussed at that, but we'll give it a go, see what it's like. Get the app on the go, hopefully everything's good and it all works. And as you can see, I'm in a big open space in case we get any flyaways or it does anything silly. So let's get it up in the air, see what happens. That's the compass calibration done. I have the settings done for the speed, yaw horizontal everything set to 50% so we'll try this first 50% speeds see what it's like try the sport mode see whether it changes anything over have a bit of a fly about I'll see about the precision landing if I can't get that go I'll have to have another look at that bring it back put everything to 100% try that see what happens so we will Take off. Okay. Stable at the minute, that's a very good sign. We all know what the Hudson can be like. There is a wind blowing, I'd say it's a good five to seven miles per hour from this way to that way. And it's dusty, you can see the grass and stuff blowing. So it's not doing it too bad a job. So we will, hopefully you can see it, pick it up a bit. Hopefully you can see this is the maximum at 50. At 50% it is going at 3.7 meters per second. Come in reverse. That's interesting. Didn't show up. So 3.8 so definitely 3.7 3.8 and that's at 50% so I'll bring it back over so we can get a look at the yaw at 50% make sure I can see it on the camera yep so we'll just give it a spin around and see what it's like at 50 percent as usual I forgot to hit the record button that's one of the reasons I'm looking forward to getting my parrot because it automatically records. Constantly forget it. So I've done it now. So the wind is really picked up there and it's doing a really good job of fighting against it. So we'll do the yaw again. Fifty percent. Bring it up a bit, take it out.
Yep, so it definitely has slowed it down, which will be great when you are trying to do some finer movements. You can see at 50% and nearly full stick, it's doing a really good job, so you could slow it down even more. So I'm going to take it away a wee bit. I'll hit the return to home and see whether it gives me the option to do the precision landing. So, bear with me. Okay, return to home. Take off point. Okay. Now, nothing popped up on the screen there about precision landing. It's just coming back. It's going to update its 30 meter and then it'll come back. I'm going to give it a hand by lowering the gimbal. I'll put it right down. At least we can still do that. That's it. As low as it'll go. I have control over the yaw, which is good. And direction. So I'll give it a hand. So you can see, I have full control of the sticks, the yaw, the gimbal, the forward, backwards, while it's in, the return to home. That's a really good thing to have. I will have to have a look and see with this precision landing in the settings. I did say yes, but I'll have to have a look and see if I can find it here. Do you have it set on? I don't know why nothing came up about it in the return to home. But we'll look at that at a different time. I'll have to have a I've only one battery so it'll take me a while, recharge the battery, try everything again. So I'm gonna put the speeds back up, everything one hundred percent. I might actually keep the yaw speed down to 50 because I really like that. But we'll do the others and I'll try the sport mode. It's in normal at the minute. So everything again. I hit record in the camera. Automatic take off. Away it goes. Brilliant again. I can't see anything, I'll move the gimbal up, I have my gimbal speed down to 10, I like the, it's really slow for doing video and stuff, it's really fighting against the wind, it's doing a good job, I'm impressed, so we'll give it a go now, full speed and see what we get in normal mode, That was 7.6. Turn it round and drift back and over us. Eight point two. Battery already. Forty percent. So I will flick it over to sport mode. It's all on the screen. It says switch to sport mode, so we'll see. And um, we'll turn it round, fly it out again. Eight 
8.2 so as you can see sport mode still not doing anything that must be our maximum speed and now with the app update it looks like we can slow it down but I think that's all we're getting I'm going to take it away again and see I'll hit the return to home again and see whether it gives me the option so I'll take it a bit further out of the way it's flying great I've as you can see I'm pointing this towards the camera the drones over in that direction I don't have any problems with disconnects battery 30% right takeoff point won't give me any options to hit precision landing strange I'll have to hopefully someone else will see something and give us a bit of an idea I'll keep the gimbal up this time see whether it changes it itself see where it's going to land I might have to move it again nothing about precision landing still and it's coming down while recording the searching part of the Ah, so let's see can I stop yep I can push up and return to home stop I got a flash on the screen there saying that the camera not to be recording so I've cancelled the return to home I'm going to try it again without recording so we'll go way back again okay that's it over there return to home okay So, have a look. Hopefully, this will do it this time. Interesting to see if this works. So, it's over my head. There we go. Hopefully you can see on the it's looking for the the H position. It's moving about, I can't see it. I am gonna oh I'm gonna get over. So it was looking for it. I'm gonna go up and see. It definitely was looking for it there. So we'll give it a bit of a help. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cancel that. I'm not gonna take it as far this time. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna help it. I'm helping husband. Or hub, hub. Helping Hobson Freudian slip. Mrs. wouldn't be happy with that. So, taking it up. Oh, I'm running out of battery. Return to home. Okay. Right, hopefully it does it this time. I'm going to have to have some inner searching. The Freudian slip. Husband. Where's it going? Disappearing. Oh, it's directly overhead. Come back. Come back. Now, because the battery's low, it won't do it. So.
So hopefully everyone's as surprised as I am. Wasn't too accurate there and I wish I had more battery to try it again. The speed difference, being able to slow it down, change your yaw, excellent, all working. I'm not having any disconnects whatsoever. I can turn the controller away, anything, fly it overhead, I don't get disconnects for some strange reason. I'm thankful, sorry for all those that do. Working great, you can see it rising up on takeoff, flying great, holding against the wind, no problem at all. Um, the return to home is working okay. When you are doing the precision landing, you need to have more than 20% battery by the looks of it. Um, you can't have it recording to the SD card. So if anyone else, Marcus, Chris, if you're gonna give this a go, Gorilla Man, before you hit that return to home, stop recording, hit the return to home, let it come back, when it gets right overhead, the camera's dropping, looking at the ground, and it's like searching for that H. Mine didn't see that uh, bright orange target in this area for some strange reason. But I could notice looking through the FPV, the color wasn't great, and it was hard to distinguish between that ground and the orange target for some strange reason. But we can get it charged up and try it again at some stage but it all seems to be working I'm happy with it hope everybody else that tries it take your time if you're not sure QC guy has video and it shows you how to do the firmware upgrade I sit with it on the phone making sure that I remember what I'm doing on the computer plug it in get it done works great 1.1.52 gets a thumbs up the day. Hopefully it stays that way. Chris still need to get out and do some close flying to something. I'm coming up with something good hopefully and we'll give it a go. Marcus, get yourself out there. But I definitely recommend before we do it, upgrade to this. Slow the speeds all down, it'll work great. Thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoy this content, please give me a thumbs up. Like the channel. Helps get the numbers up and I can make more videos. Let everybody see what the Hubson's able to do. And have a new drone coming tomorrow, hopefully. Get it charged up and hopefully get it flying this week. Have a few days off work. We'll get out there and fly some drums. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye bye.